Robertson Island, where the betting is six to one on sunshine every day, but which gets 80 inches of rain a year. An island which became independent in 1962, whose two million people are 98% coloured, whose capital, Kingston, is spreading like lava. Chica, chica. An island full of itchy feet and rhythmic movement, which lives dangerously in the path of hurricanes, on the playground of earthquakes. An island with a house called Golden Eye, where Ian Fleming, who did a lot of his writing in this garden, taught James Bond also to live dangerously. And it was started by people who take sugar. 300 years ago, here was the cane, growing like grass, while back in Britain, sugar basins were being held out impatiently. Jamaica was on the map. Since then, harvesting hasn't changed much. It's still tough, under the same tropical sun, using the same machettes, cutting, stripping, casting to the same rhythm. With increasing demand, sugar soon became a sweetener to the slave markets. Up to 50 pounds each was paid for slaves who were brought in from Africa. Today, Jamaica's backbone is a racial mixture such as the world has never seen, bearing national characteristics of Europe, Africa, India, China, beneath skin varying between off-white and jet black. And they all live peacefully side by side. Many have British ancestors. Island weddings are always colourful occasions, and this Indian wedding includes a whole variety of customs and ritual. The birth rate is five times the death rate, but while family planning struggles for a toehold, other aspects of life progress. For example, the mind's eye Jamaican shantytown that do-it-yourself answer to centuries of poverty and ruthless elements is fading. Replacing it, a lower-income group housing estate to be proud of, which would cheer any housewife. No weekend gardener could go wrong in soil that cries out, you name it, I'll grow it. This soil even produces specialized primary schools. Here, everything, but everything, is related to agriculture. Each subject has a bearing on farm and plant life. Schoolroom life starts with, what does SAP spell? Even the three R's are given a practical link with vegetables, compost, animal care. Agriculture is unnatural in this lush climate, and these youngsters are going to be natural farmers. question is, how young can you specialize? Jamaican love for and skill in field sports is symbolized by the Kingston Stadium, home of the 1966 Commonwealth Games. At the moment, the accent is again on youth and on a visit from the Queen Mother. The warmth of welcome this island always gives to the royal family is symbolized by the young blood which forms that very word. From Britain, Jamaica is 5,000 miles, 15 hours, 100 pounds odd as the jet flies. Except for its wooded spine, where brigands once hid, the island grows sugar, bananas, citrus fruit, 
coffee. It's also sprinkled with precious red soil. This soil contains bauxite, aluminium's basic ingredient. Royalties from export are almost a quarter of Jamaica's revenue. Canada and America made Jamaica the world's top bauxite producer. Now Kingston has an operating cement factory, a six million pound oil refinery. Government help with tax holidays and customs relief is certainly encouraging overseas industrialists. After bauxite and sugar comes this. Will tourism overtake the other two? In 1963, this non-stop airlift, away from it all, carried 12 and a half million pounds worth. New York is only four hours away. With a warm reception laid on and luxury hotels carpeting the coastline, blue skies, silver sand, seawater with the chill off and instant suntan for 300 days a year, how can you miss? At Montego Bay, the shops are gay. But you have to pay. And there are still acres of unoccupied beaches, palm trees, winding rivers, everything a nagging ulcer needs. And the treatment costs nothing. But at Sandy Lodge, Montego Bay, the fee is 15 guineas a day. So what? If you're rich, you can spend it. If you're not, you can sleep. Who cares? Until it's time to get back to that cane harvest. Some 200,000 acres are now under sugar, employing, with 18 factories, 80,000 people. Today, sugar is holding its own. There may be substitutes, but there's none for its byproducts, molasses and rum. And there's a natural interest in the sugar Cuba isn't supplying to America. When the five-ton trucks are loaded, at half an hour a truck, the cane snakes its way to the factory, where there's little similarity to the bad old days. And soon, it's facing refinement in a mechanized cascade of sweetness. There are more natural cascades, which by sheer breathtaking beauty, force themselves into every camera that comes near them. An island with a beat that is infectious, sometimes intoxicating. An island where cricket gets to work on you early in life. And when you grow up, you live the game, whether you happen to be playing or watching. Jamaica's motto is, out of many, one people. They're not one people yet, although a favorite stimulant, like cricket, does seem to unite them temporarily. They're today's example of a race looking for the balance between play and work.